Welcome, Vicki. Okay, nice <laughs> yeah, good afternoon, and thank you for joining us today. Uh, General Matt Quinn, Executive Director of my COVID-19 Task Force, joins us as well. Uh, we're here today to provide an update on the progress Montana is making in confronting this pandemic. In mid-November, Montana reported more than 1,600 COVID-19 cases in one day. Today, that number is down more than 80% to 317 cases. While we're not out of the woods yet, uh, our trend lines remain promising as we confront this pandemic. Our Montana healthcare heroes continue to make strides to vaccinate the most vulnerable amongst us. As of this morning, Montana have, Montanans have administered over 110,000 safe and effective vaccine doses. We continue to demonstrate our efficiency in getting shots into arms. Of the 134,000 doses we've received, we've administered 82% of them, and we're getting the remainder into arms this week. We also have more than 27,500 Montanans fully immunized to the virus, putting Montana among the national leaders in second doses administered per capita. Despite the great progress we're making, we aren't receiving adequate doses from the federal government. Unfortunately, Montana continues to receive one of the lowest allotments of doses per capita in the country. Last week, I urged President Biden and our federal partners to ramp up production and send us more doses. I've been in direct contact with the White House, and we're in talks to make Montana vaccine allocation more equitable. While I recognize that demand exceeds supply across the country, Montana has proven our effectiveness in getting shots into arms, and the number of doses we receive from the federal government should reflect that. I'll continue working to have the federal government send us more doses. My administration's priority remains ensuring that every Montanan who wants the vaccine can get the vaccine. The vaccine is safe and effective. With our focus on protecting the most vulnerable, our seniors and Montanas with severe underlying medical condition, uh, the vaccine is helping save lives. Doc Holtzman at DPHHS made this point clearly at our press conference last week, and the vaccine will help us return to a more normal life. Every dose Montana receives is critical, which is why I promised you in my first week in office that we wouldn't let vaccines sit on the shelves. Today, we're following through on that promise. In partnership with CVS and Walgreens, we've identified roughly 19,500 unused doses available for the state to redirect towards our efforts to protect the most vulnerable Montanans. Nearly 10,000 more vulnerable Montanans will be fully vaccinated as a result of this reallocation. Under a contract to vaccinate residents vaccinate residents and staff in our long-term care facilities and assisted living facilities, the federal government originally provided these doses to CVS and Walgreens. Over the last five weeks, CVS and Walgreens have been successful in administering doses to these vulnerable Montanans. As of today, CVS has had a clinic at every one of their assigned facilities, and Walgreens has one facility remaining. So we're virtually there in terms of taking care of these, cap these facilities. We've worked to ensure that residents and staff at these facilities who want the vaccine get the vaccine. And now they've helped us identify nearly 19,500 unused doses that can be redirected to vulnerable Montanans waiting in line. When we heard about an anticipated unused supply last week, my administration immediately made the request of the federal government to redirect these doses. This request has been approved. In the coming days, we will be releasing these doses to hospitals across the state. From there, DPHHS will coordinate closely with local partners and hospitals to help set up community clinics to serve as many Montanans as possible. As information becomes available about the time and place of these clinics, we will provide updates. Until then, we continue to ask Montana's patience as we organize this effort to deploy unused vac vaccines from CVS and Walgreens. 
As you know, Montana remains in the 1B phase to vaccinate the most vulnerable. Montanans aged 70 years or older and 16 and older with serious underlying health care conditions and Native Americans and other people of color are eligible to receive the vaccine now. Many local public health officials are working diligently to serve the most vulnerable and get the vaccines into arms as quickly as possible. I encourage our seniors and others most at risk to check the website or Facebook page of their local health department to see what the process is for receiving a vaccine. For folks who don't have access to that technology, please ask a friend or neighbor to help. By working together, we can protect more Montanans and save more lives. With that, I'm happy to take your questions. Holly? Hey, Governor, thanks for holding this press conference. Um, I was wondering if you could walk through to make sure I'm understanding right. So the 19,500 doses that the two pharmacies identified, how much is that, I guess, is that part of the pool of that roughly 18% of vaccines that Montana has received but not yet administered? And then just trying to understand with those, with the vaccine that Montana has gotten but not administered, is that just, it's still in the process of being pushed out or kind of better understanding what's happened with those doses? Okay, I'm gonna let General Quinn go into some of the details. At a high level though, um, Walgreens and CVS were allocated doses for every single bed in every single long-term care facility. Not every bed is full. Not every staff member chose to get the vaccines. Those are the ones that we're reallocating. So, General Quinn. No, and, and Governor's absolutely correct. So, Holly, all of those supplies based upon number of beds and two staff per bed were allocated at the federal level when they signed that contract. Those supplies never came to Montana. And so there's no correlation between that and the 82% that we've put into arms. So these were sitting at the federal level. That's why we went to the CDC and said we would like those redirected to Montana. And then we can direct those out into the communities across Montana. And so understanding of that other, the 82% that Montana has been allocated that's been administered, that 18% that hasn't, is that just they're in the pipeline of being administered or just trying to understand where those Yeah, they're, they're being administered, as, as Governor said. So they, uh, the, they all don't get here on Monday, and so they'll start administering as soon as they can get to them and schedule those clinics. So that's really the reason for the 18%. And then do you know, too, with the nursing home and assisted living, those, that population the pharmacies were doing, do you have an idea of the percent of residents and then staff that were vaccinated within those facilities? Yeah, so as of today, uh, I understand CVS has been to every one of their assigned facilities. Uh, Walgreens has been to every one that was ready to have a clinic. There's one clinic that was assigned to Walgreens. Uh, and just to put numbers on it, there's just over 200 of these facilities around the state. Uh, so we've, we've been to all but one, okay, at this point with a first dose. Uh, the uptake has been approximately 50% amongst patients and staff. Um, now they're coming back if people did not get a vaccine on their first visit. Uh, Walgreens and CVS are gonna be to every facility three times. So if they missed a staff person or a resident on the first visit, they can get their first dose on the second visit. These, this reallocation uh, incorporates that planning so that anybody at these facilities that needs a vaccine will be able to get it. Yep, Zach. Governor Zach Kaplan, Montana right now. I had a question regarding the statewide mask mandate. Within the last hour, Senate Bill 65 has passed the House and now would theoretically head right to your desk. And I know along with that and improved vaccine distribution, you plan to repeal the mandate. I'm wondering if the vaccine distribution has improved to the point where you would. And if that is the case, is there a timeline in place for when you would repeal that mask mandate statewide? Okay, thanks, Zach. Well, you're right. I've been very clear. Uh, we all wanna take our masks off throw them in the trash can and go on with our life in a safe manner. I've set up two criteria. One is the vaccine gets out to the most vulnerable. We're making real progress on that. And second, I need this protection from lawsuits for small business. I'm pleased that the legislature has moved as quickly as they can, and I look forward to having it on my desk. Is there an online question? Hi, Governor Jane Forte. This is Maritza Giorgio with NBC Montana, and I have two questions. First, I'll start kind of piggybacking on Zach's 
I'm wondering about your level of concern about the new, more contagious variants basically surrounding our state now, and if that's given any pause or reconsideration to the plan to rescind the mask mandate once we get through 1B and you get that bill signed. Well, uh, I was on a briefing call today. Uh, there is, we are looking closely at these variants. Uh, I, I, uh, I'm encouraged by the trend lines, both on hospitalizations and new infections. Uh, but again, we're going to make the best decisions with the facts available to us at the time. Okay, and my next question is, I'm wondering, do we have the three-week forecast of vaccine allocation as promised by the White House with the new administration? So I was on a call today. I've had a couple of calls with the White House today. Uh, in the first call, they are providing visibility. Uh, we've seen some modest increases. We saw this week about an additional 2,000 uh, doses coming to the state. Uh, the White House promised today that we'd have a, a marginal increase uh, next week as well, not as big. Uh, however, I did have a separate one-on-one -on -one call with the White House today, uh, really asking for uh, a more appropriate allocation for Montana. We're, we're getting less than, uh, well, uh, 0.15 of all the vaccines in the country were ranked 44th or 45th nationally in terms of our per capita allocation. Uh, I'm just asking for equity. Uh, they heard that appeal and I'm waiting for a response. Jonathan. Governor, thank you. Jonathan Ann Berry and Montana Television Network. I wanted to check the uh, new or the uh, reallocated 19,500. Are they all uh, Pfizer vaccines? And then also um, how quickly do you expect to get them all uh, all in inter, uh, all put into the uh, process for getting them. I mean, is it something that's going to happen in a week or in a longer time? General frame? Quinn, could you? Yeah. So yeah, all of the vaccines that were allocated for CVS and Walgreens are the Pfizer vaccine. They had the ultra cold storage. You recall the ultra cold storage requirement for the Pfizer. Um, and so those are being ordered today. Uh, the redirect will be requested of CDC today. It's already been approved. We just got to put in the numbers. Uh, those will start arriving late this week and early next week. We would look for those clinics to happen sometime during that following next week, uh, if not early into the week after. So we should get these shots in arms as quickly as we can. And the, the good news here is this is essentially another week's worth of doses coming into the state. So this is going to help the most vulnerable get vaccinated. Online question? Yes, we, we have one. And let me just remind folks dialing in that if you have a question for the governor, you can dial five star to enter the queue. Hi, Governor. Keith Schubert with the Daily Montanan here. Thanks for hosting this. I'm changing track here a bit. But I was wondering if your office or if you had... Um, exerted any pressure to pass HB 176, the late voter registration bill, out of committee after it got tabled? I'm sorry, which bill was that? The bill that would end uh, late voter registration the Friday before Election Day, I believe. Or, yeah. I don't believe, but that's it. There's a lot of bills moving through the legislature, and I look forward to giving them thoughtful consideration if they get to my desk. Um, so thanks for your question. Zach? Zach Kaplan, Montana, right now again. Governor, I'm wondering, when you're on these calls uh, with the White House, with other governors around the country, I mean, West Virginia's been one example of a state that's done really well. Obviously, Montana has as well. But I'm wondering how much sharing of best practices there's been between governors, what kind of conversations you've had with governors of other states. Yeah, and I, I rely on the relationships I have with uh, governors around the state. Today, I was on with Asa Hutchinson and Governor Cuomo, uh, sh working with the CDC and the White House. Uh, I have another call later today with a number of other governors around the country, North Dakota and uh, Idaho, probably Wyoming, more of a regional call. I do that call every week. And uh, this is one of the benefits of this, the, the, the sharing. Uh, we're not in competition with each other. Uh, if somebody comes up with a good idea, we're happy to share it. And uh, if it's good for Montana, we'll implement it. Holly? Yeah, I, I'm wondering if you've gotten any more clarity from the federal government about how the vaccine doses are allocated. I know last week you and General Quinn were saying there wasn't a lot of clarity on why Montana wasn't getting what you would like to see. Is there any more explanation on how they figure out how many doses we get? 
I, I don't believe we have. It, it doesn't make, uh, a couple of weeks ago, there was some indication that we might get an increased allocation based on our effectiveness in getting them in people's arms. Uh, when I was in a one-on-one -on -one conversation with the White House today with the President's uh, COVID uh, coordinator, I shared that uh, as of today, 82% of the doses we've received in the state are in people's arms. Uh, this is front of the class performance. Uh, for the country. They were impressed. I thought that might help us get some more doses because we've been just getting her done. Um, uh, but it seems currently they're allocating purely on a per capita basis, but that doesn't totally make sense to me either because we're not at the median. We're at the very low end of the range getting just at 15,000 doses. The, uh, uh, the, they have over 10 million doses they're allocating on a weekly basis. Uh, we're getting 0.15% uh, of the doses available to the entire country. Um, I think we, we should get an allocation that represents the great job that the team has done getting this into people's arms. Is there another online question? Hi, this is Bill Vanderwill for the North of Plains and Independent in North Point. Um, I just want to do you agree with the high school association's decision last week to hold for season tournaments, and did they ask your office for any advice about okay, I'm that? I'm not sure. I, this was about uh, school closures. If you could state the question again. No, about, high, about having postseason um, basketball and wrestling tournaments. We have not been involved there. I mean, these decisions are made by local okay. school boards and appreciate the autonomy that they have. Is there another online question? Hi, this is Ed O'Brien, Montana Public Radio. Indeed, Governor, General, thank you all for this opportunity. General, is the task force aware of any vaccines going to waste? And if yes, how many doses, what kind of vaccines, where did it happen, why, that, that sort of thing? Thank you. Yeah, no, good question. We are not aware of vaccines going to waste. And as you may recall, when we first started this vaccination program for the state of Montana, we encouraged uh, not to allow any uh, vaccines to go to waste. And, and so uh, we continue to push that message out there. If they have uh, some doses left in the vial, get them into arms of individuals who need them. Any questions here? Questions online? Peter Christian from KGVO Radio. Governor, I know this sounds like a jaded question, but uh, could it be the reason we're so far down on the list is because Montana has a reputation for being a deep red state? Thank you. Uh, I have no indication that's the case. I just think we ought to get more vaccine. Is there another online question? Any other questions here in the room? Thank you for coming out. We're pleased we can make these vaccines available to Montanans and we'll keep working to get more. Thank you.